All right, Shalom. Shalom. Call Halal Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai by Hashem Rakakwadash. Double honor to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace, salutations, and blessings to the hopeful elect. We're the brothers uh, from the Great Millstone Dallas camp, Kabash and Aina. And we're just doing a walk and talk, you know, a little nature walk and talk. Uh, you know, and we're just going to go into the topic of uh, how, uh, you know, basically Jacob's trouble, okay? And the, uh, you know, uh, so we're going to go ahead and get this uh, first scripture. Okay. Revelation chapter 2, verse 10, it says, Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Mm -hmm. It says, Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. All right. And what, what's those things? Keep going up. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. Now, is this talk? Is this devil talking about a uh, a man that's, that's 3,000 feet on the ground? Okay. With a red suit on? No man, that's and that's burning, and just just burn sitting, just burning in fire. No, this this is talking about a physical. This is talking about the so-called white man, man. Okay, because when you go into that word devil, it simply means deceiver, and the so-called white man who is Esau Edom has deceived the earth, man. Okay, he's deceived everybody, man. Okay, the master uh, war uh, uh, warlock. Okay, right. Yeah, we know that you know Esau's intention. Is to implement uh, these concentrate concentration camps, where uh, he's gonna turn these, you know, super stores like Walmart and then these uh, warehouse-like stores into uh, prisons. And you're already seeing evidence of that with uh, WalMarts that have been shut down, that have been basically militarized, gated up. Mm -hmm. And you know, we see uh, like the uh, uh, elder Apostle Elder Tahar have been going into, you know, quarantines. Uh, are going to become become more and more common mm -hmm. uh, as uh, as martial law continues to uh, to be made in full effect. Mm -hmm. That's right. It says, uh, "Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that ye may be tried." That ye may be tried, right? Okay. And it says the saints are uh, the elect are going to be are uh, the chosen. Okay, which is the elect. Uh, Baharium is uh, gonna be tried as gold in the fire, man. Mm -hmm. Okay, keep going up. And you shall have tribulation ten days. All right, you shall have tribulation or trouble ten days. Which said ten days is just talking about a period of time, man. Okay, mm -hmm. a complete amount of time. Mm -hmm. You know the time that the Most High set. That's right. Uh, for 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 a man to endure. Mm -hmm. You know, it says. And ye shall have tribulation ten days. And, and and we're already, excuse me, brother, we're already enduring right now, man. Okay, we're enduring afflictions right now, hardship, trouble. So all we have to do is just remain firm, man. Is that's another test that's that's uh, uh that's coming along the way, all right. And we we're, we're uh, studying for that test now, man. Okay, in our everyday lives, man, we're we're living out, we're living through troubles, we're uh, we're enduring hardness as as good soldiers of Yahweh Shai, the Lord, man. Okay. So all we got to do is pass this, this this test. This is gonna be a bigger test, man. Okay. I got a quick one. Come on. Hebrews 12 and 3. It says, For consider him that endures such contradiction of sinners against himself. Okay. We're going into Yahweh Shai, how he uh how he had to basically go through or endure um the the the, the tribulation and the slander and the physical pain. Um that our people, two thirds of our people, put on him, man. Okay, because they crucified you, Shai. Our people crucified you, Shai. and so um, we ought to consider that, being the fact that we uh, we we strive to be like Yahweh Shai. Mm -hmm. Well, we understand that according to uh, Acts, the 14th chapter, I believe the 21st verse, through much tribulation, shall we enter into the kingdom. Mm -hmm. You know. And so these are, <clears throat> you know, it's not going to just be an easy, easy breezy transition into uh, into the kingdom. I'm sorry. Uh, contrary to uh, the belief of uh, Bishop Nathaniel, okay, of IUIC. Mm -hmm. It says, for consider him that endured such contradiction of sinners against himself, lest ye be wearied and faint in your minds. Ye have not yet resisted unto blood that's the spirit because i i was going to answer this priest up next oh okay it's, it says ye have not re yet resisted unto blood so we i mean you know of course it brothers have 
uh, uh, you know, demons have, have, have uh, came against the brothers physically already. But on the scale that is coming, man, we're talking about uh, uh, the, the whole world, okay, coming up, man, okay? You're talking about us being uh, in prison, man, and beaten, okay? For for the for the uh for the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. Okay. We we have not resisted yet, man. Okay. Yeah, our, our limits haven't been pushed. Gone. You know, we think we think a lot of times, oh, you know, we get pushed to the max, we get mm -hmm. tried on catching hell, which we do catch hell. You know, nothing not taken away from that. Mm -hmm. Uh but our limits haven't been haven't been pushed, you know. Uh and the Lord's not gonna put you push you past that limit because if you one of those men that were uh, uh, ordained from the foundation of the earth right. to receive salvation, he's not going to push you beyond your limit to where you break. Mm -hmm. But you will be tried. That's right. We will be tried. That's right. You know, so that's why we pray to Yahweh Bashim Yahshua not to take the spirit uh, uh, away from us, you know, spirit of endurance, things of that nature. It says, You have not resisted unto blood, striving against sin. Mm -hmm. um, Could you... And uh, I'm going to keep reading. Go it says, And ye have forgotten the exhortation which speaketh unto you as children right because what does a father and a mother do to their sons and their daughters oh we can well we can we can go on the uh, rocks here um they they uh rebuke and correct them okay they basically they basically tell them they basically tell them uh uh the correct the correct way mm -hmm. to do the correct things to do all right and so, whether it's a, a, a verbal rebuke or a physical rebuke, also known as a, a whooping or a chastening, mm -hmm. we ought to endure those things. Why? For the sake of um, correction and being closer to the Most High. Mm -hmm. It says, um, my son, despise not the chastening of Yahweh, nor faint when thou art rebuked of him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because, of course, being in this flesh, we're going to go off. And not going to be 100% perfect. And so when we do get rebuked and chastened, we have to understand that Yahweh Hashem Yahshua is dealing with us as sons mm -hmm. and not as, uh, uh, you know, what they call it, um, like a stranger, you know. Mm -hmm. um, and so that's something to be grateful for. So mm -hmm. I'll go back, unless you had a, a precept. Uh, this. Go back to Revelation. Okay, okay, keep going. Yeah, Bob Kishaw. Revelation chapter 2. Uh, let me see verse in the middle of verse 10 it says be thou faithful unto death be thou faithful unto death <clears throat> okay remain faithful to your how about shimmy was shot man okay stay in this truth man okay keep going Baba Kishah. be thou faithful unto death and i will give thee a crown of life yahweh shah says he will give thee a crown of life okay you will be joint heirs with yahweh shah man the lord if we if we Remain faithful unto death, man. Okay. Uh, can we get that in uh, Revelation chapter twenty, verse four? Okay. All right. It says, "Remain faithful unto death, man." Okay, because there are gonna be martyrs, man. Okay. There's gonna be martyrs, man. Okay. But it says that the dead in Yahweh Shah shall rise first, man. So if you're a martyr, man. Okay, and you strive for that truth unto death. You will be the, the first one on that chariot in a glorified body with the Lord, man. When he comes back, man, to, to, to uh, take down Esau, the so-called white man, and gather his elect, man. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. Uh, Deliver his elect. Right. And the scripture says, uh, in, uh, I believe in Thessalonians, comfort, comfort one another with these words, you know, after, after it goes into that. that mm -hmm. time. Uh, it says... Revelation 20 and 4 says and I and I saw thrones and they sat up <clears throat> and they sat upon them mm -hmm. and judgment was given unto them right uh, and I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Yahweh Shai uh, the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Yahweh Shai and what's the next part up and for the word of the most high and for the word of the most high right it says the souls of them they were beheaded, right? Because going back to that Revelation two, two and ten, Revelation two and ten, excuse me, you uh these these FEMA concentration camps, you know these these uh you know prisons, so uh so to speak, man. Okay, they they're gonna have guillotines in them, man, and and, and this goes into the hour of temptation, man. 
okay they're gonna have these guillotines and it's gonna gonna come to a point where uh, it's either take the RFID microchip which is the mark of the beast and bow to the the so-called white man the devil or or, 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 or or die honorable death man okay striving for the truth unto death man okay but it says the souls of them that were beheaded man so there's the, the uh, there's gonna be martyrs man that get beheaded because they strove for the truth unto death man right okay and they're gonna have uh uh, uh, uh there were witnesses of Yahweh Shai uh, and for the word of the most high okay which is Yahweh Shai man okay and they're they're gonna uh they're they're gonna uh gain their rulership man mm -hmm. they're gonna they're gonna get that crown man okay uh joint uh joint heirship with the lord yahweh shai okay. um i got a precept real quick okay. matthew 23 and 24 it says wherefore behold i send unto you prophets and wise men and scribes mm -hmm. and some of them ye shall kill mm -hmm. and crucify and some of them shall you scourge in your synagogues and persecute them from city to city right it's it it doesn't it say we've been sent out it's uh were you about to say something brother uh go ahead bro Con, it's it doesn't it say we've been sent out as sheep in the midst of wolves man okay all right and uh just speaking uh two-thirds of of the nation of israel the so-called negroes latinos native americans and confusion of face israelites okay israelites just uh, israelites that just look like another nation they they don't want to hear this word man okay they don't like us man then you have these heathen nations okay 17 other heathen nations they don't want to hear what we got to say man mm -hmm. okay right and which this was talking about you know during the time uh, uh after yahweh was was taken up um you know that was when the that was when the gospel started to be preached um you know by 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 those believers by his by, by yahweh believers mm -hmm. and uh we know you know stefan being the first martyr we saw exactly what happened. You know, he got stoned, and uh, all the other uh, apostles, they, uh, except for uh, John, you know, they got they got sto uh, they got killed. I should say, all right, for what? For the for the word of the Most High. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that's how you know. Uh, were you finished, brother? I was gonna say this too. That's gonna happen again. Mm -hmm. But then this time they're not gonna get all of us. That's right. Right, because we're living in a time now of deliverance. That's right. Go ahead. I and say, and Yahweh Shai, yeah, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is going to lift up a standard, man. Okay, the prophets aren't going to be, uh, the prophets aren't going to take an ill like we've taken in, in our in our past lives, man. Okay, via reincarnation. Okay. We're not going to take that ill anymore, man. Okay. But you got it, brother. Okay. Uh, that was it. I'll go back to, uh, which, were you done? That was done in Revelation 20 and 4, right? Mm hmm. Okay. Con. And then Revelation 20, uh, 2. Um, I'm gonna get verse 12. Okay. Back in 2 and 12. You wanna keep? Oh, it's. Well, it's actually, it was, end, a right? it was a tad bit more on that Revelations 20, and then we'll, we'll keep. Uh, okay. And then we'll, we'll roll whatever you got. It says, And I saw thrones, and they that sat upon them, mm -hmm. and judgment was given unto them. Mm -hmm. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded uh, for the witness of Yahweh Shai and for the word of the Most High, mm -hmm. which had not worship the beast which had not worshiped the beast mm -hmm. which is the new world order mm -hmm. the image of the beast i should say mm -hmm. the new world order the actual beast itself is nato and the eu mm -hmm. okay um and that ideology that they push uh you know the new world order is the image of the beast mm -hmm. which we don't bow down to that um continuing on it says and which had not worshiped the beast neither his image <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, neither had received his mark upon his mark what's well, that uh, mark the off of the microchip mm -hmm. okay uh, upon their foreheads what else does it say uh upon their foreheads or in their hands or in their hands okay this is talking about the off of the microchip the implantable off of the microchip man mm -hmm. okay keep going Baba uh and they lived and reigned with mashiach a thousand years and they lived and reigned with mashiach a thousand years man okay and that's gonna that a thousand years is going to the uh building of the kingdom man okay all right, but yep. you got it, bro. We keep we go. All right, so going back here is Revelation 20, is a beautiful chapter, man. Uh -huh. um, all right, so it's next some... scripture I'm gonna get, or okay. actually, no, I, we didn't finish in uh, Revelation 2. Okay, go back to Revelation, Revelation 2, and uh, I stopped at verse 11. Verse 11 says, He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit, uh, what the Spirit saith unto the churches, right? He that hath an ear. Which is not talking about your physical ear. <laughs> okay, this is talking about a spiritual ear, man. Okay. 
your uh, uh, a spiritual mind. Okay, you got it, bro. He that overcometh shall not be hurt of the second death. He that overcometh shall not be hurt of the second death. What's the second death? The the thermonuclear destruction of of America, Babylon the Great. Okay, that's the second death, man. Okay, it's not talking about burning in hell for eternity, man. Okay, the first death was the flood, which was by water. Okay, and the second death is 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 a uh, 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 flood by fire. Okay. Uh, it says, and the angel. Oh wait. Yeah, you said you were in verse twelve. Mm -hmm. That's uh, all right. Cool. Or, or, or you can. It, it may not be in verse twelve. Uh, you can jump down to verse twenty-six, I believe. Revelation two and twenty-six. Mm -hmm. If I'm not, it says overcome it. Then yeah. Ever. Yeah. It says uh, Revelation two and twenty-six. Actually, I started verse twenty-five. Mm -hmm. It says, but that which ye have already hold fast till I come. That which ye have already hold fast till I come. Which we 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 have that crown, man. Okay, we just have to hold on to it. We got to keep enduring and striving and, and, and growing in this thing, man. Okay. Praying for mercy. Okay. But we got to hold fast. We got to we gotta hold on for dear life, man. Okay. Because it's, it's about to get even shakier, man. So when we get getting even shakier, we got to hold on tighter, man. We got to, you know, we got a hey, tooth and nail. We got to fight for this thing, man. Okay. We got we to gotta practice our grip strength. Con. <laughs> right now, that's what we're doing. Con. You know. And but we're not in all seriousness. We're uh, establishing our foundation and, and getting rooted, as the scripture says, rooted and built up in Him. Mm -hmm. So that because we know during that time of Jacob's trouble, like which is what we're going into, uh, if we, if, we if, if a man doesn't have a foundation, matter of fact, I'll get that in uh, in uh, Matthew uh, the seventh chapter, real quick. Um, Let's pull this up is, right here. Huh? Let's pull this up. Oh, okay. I'm following you, bro. Come. Matthew 7 and 24 says, um, Therefore, whosoever heareth these things of mine and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man which built his house upon a rock. Mm -hmm. It says, And the rain descended, and the winds, uh, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house, and it fell not. Why? Okay, so what is that representing? That's talking about um, the, the rain and the, and, the, and the flood and the winds. It's talking about Jacob's trouble, that persecution. All right, that tribulation that's going to come upon every man that we talk about so much. That's that uh, our foundation, because we are that we are a house. We are lacking unto the house, okay. And we're building our foundation on that rock, which is Yahweh Shai. Okay, it says, for it was founded upon a rock. Right, that's the reason why it stood so strong because the rock is uh, stationary. Okay, and then it goes into the same situation except the house being built on sand. Which is anything else outside of Yahweh Shai, all right, is gonna is gonna come to naught, okay? And these people are gonna fold because they don't really have a sure, strong foundation. Um, going back, I'm gonna go ahead and get the next one in uh, Ecclesiastes 4 and 28. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, it was miss. It was miss. Uh, Please ask. This is locked in. Oh, Sirach 4 yeah. and 20. Okay. I was like, I don't know what's happening first. So yeah, 428. Hey, man. Right. Oh, oh, you got it. You got it, bro. Sir Sirach chapter 4 and 28, it says, Strive for the truth unto death, and Yahweh shall fight for thee. Strive for the truth unto death, and Yahweh shall fight for thee, man. Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. Okay. Because uh, um, it, it, says, it says, Strive for the truth, man, unto death. So that's what we, that's what we have to do, man. Okay. It's a commandment, okay? And the elect are gonna do it, man, okay? The elect, no matter what type of hell they go through, like the brother said, the Lord isn't gonna put on anything on uh, uh, on the elect that, that uh, we can't bear, man, okay? So the elect will ultimately strive for the truth unto death, man, okay? Hey, whether you gotta be a martyr, because it's an honorable thing to die for Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man, okay? The Lord is pleased with that, man, okay? You got it out. All right, um, that's that's a, that's the scripture right there. Come. Um, next, I'm gonna give Matthew uh, chapter 24 mm -hmm. and uh, verse 13. It says, "But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved." But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. Right. Well, I'm gonna. Uh, 
I'm gonna you go up it. to verse nine. It says, "Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you." And then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and, and shall kill you, man. Okay, and it's John sixteen. Uh, John sixteen chapter tells you that uh, uh, the day cometh uh, where whosoever killeth you shall think they do it the, the most high service. Okay. Because we're gonna be deemed as terrorists, man. We're gonna the media is gonna demonize us so hard to 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 the point where people think we have to get these people. These people are wicked, and we have to get them. Right. That's that's gonna be the mindset of these people, man. Well, you see that propaganda uh, being initiated now with uh, like the apostles like to call him Agent Riser, mm -hmm. uh, vocab Malone, uh, de demonizing us um, to the best of his ability. But we know that the works of Satan are going to come to naught at the end of the day. Sorry. There's no enchantment against Jacob. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, which, you know, that understanding requires faith in the first place. Uh, it says, it says, Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you, and ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. Of all nations for my name's sake. Let's get that word nations just for, for edifications. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Edification's sake. Mm -hmm. Ethnos. Ethnos, right? Hey, so we're gonna be hate of our own people because mm -hmm. what does it say? Tribe, right? A multitude, mm -hmm. whether of men or beasts, a company, a troop, a swarm, a multitude of individuals mm -hmm. of the same nature or genus, mm -hmm. a tribe, a, a nation, tribe, right? The twelve tribes of Israel, man, two thirds, man. Mm -hmm. Okay, because when you go into it, where it says nations shall nations shall rise against nation. Okay, there were nation there is ethnos, man. Okay, so you're gonna have our own people and the 17 other heathen nations, man. We're right. gonna be hated of, of, of all nations, man. Okay, because ultimately the, the, the prophets were the uh, prophets, true prophets were never like, man. Hey, here's an example. Con. There's an Edomite who came up to show the um, path right there. There's an Edomite that came up right there. And then he had his two dogs, right? Mm -hmm. And you know, if we wasn't here, you know damn well he, he would have walked. Why? But yep. guess what? He left. Right. Every time, a lot of times, we do lessons out in public, <laughs> right? And uh, and a, and, a, and an Edomite, he'll come in the vicinity mm -hmm. or another nation, and, and they'll just walk you turn the other way. Look, now he might come now, but what the hell stopped him from coming before? Right. You know. Right. Um. All right. So I'm gonna get the next one. This is uh, Ma uh Revelation. The two. Oh, we already got that one. Mm -hmm. uh, so we'll end it off on this. Let's okay. Get another one. Okay. Uh, second Ezra 16. Do you want me to start a particular part? Uh, uh, we could start around 70, where it says, "Behold, the, the wrath of a great multitude." Okay. Second Ezra 16, uh, 70. Uh, let me see. It says. <clears throat> Oh, okay, verse 68. Mm -hmm. It says, For behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you. The burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you, which said great multitude is going into the elites, man. Okay. All right. The elites, the elites see us, man. Okay, they have they have their people watching our videos. Okay. The CIA, all these, you know, uh alphabet groups right. so to call they, right they're all watching us man right they're all watching us man okay and that's why you see the devil the so-called white man the deceiver <laughs> putting put putting the israelites in the news man calling us black hebrew israelites when we've never proclaimed ourselves to be black man okay black means to be water of light and we have the light man okay right yeah you might say real black that's right it says uh Verse 68 in the middle it says, uh, actually I'll start again. For behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you. Mm, it's kindled over us, man. Okay. Revelation 12 and 12, the devil has come down unto That's you true. having great wrath. Right, because that Jake, he asked uh, last night, he was like, so what does it mean coming down right. unto you? Like you coming down and coming down on somebody. Like mm -hmm. you're going to you know, pummel them basically. Yeah, you're going to you know? yeah. It says because he knew that he hath but a short time in Revelation 12 and 12, and, and he knows it. Right. Okay. A dreadful sound is in his ears, man. He's seeing the chariots, so called UFOs. Bro, that okay. video in, from uh, in Malaysia, did you see that? Yeah, I saw that one. It looked like a sci fi movie. Right. It looked like, it looked right. like uh, what, Star Day. Trek or, or Independent yeah, yeah, Day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Looked like, looked like somebody just copied that clip or, yep. put, or pasted it in there. Yeah. You know what I mean? But guess what? That's, that's, that's really what's coming, man. Right. You know, that was an actual video of an actual chariot right. the size of, of, of most high knows what right. the ATT Stadium right. flying over these flying over these heathen, man. Right. You know? How the hell Esau gonna combat that, man? Right. 
You know? That, that I mean, if that don't boost your faith, I don't know right. what it does, man. Right. You know? Anyway, verse 68. Our salvation draweth near, man. Right. The tears is it's, 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 it's man. The Lord is, is getting closer and closer to the earth, man. Right. Okay. But you got it out. Yeah. Well, kind of. I mean, you know, we brought that scripture out uh, uh, last night. Mm -hmm. uh, Luke chapter 4 and 18. I'll go ahead and bring it out again. Con. Oh, no, that's not the one. I'm sorry. It's in Luke, though. Hold on. Give me a second. Um, Luke 21 and 28. It says, uh, it says, and when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads for your redemption draweth nigh. Going into how you can your house shy, uh, uh, starts returning with these chariots, okay, and, and frightening the nations and terrifying and destroying mm -hmm. their armies. Then that's when we look up and, and call upon his name, man. Mm -hmm. Of course, we always do it, all right, but that's when we know that, that those who are going to be redeemed and saved are, are that that's that time that that's, mm -hmm. that we've been waiting for so long you know um, so going back here to uh second Ezra 16 and uh 68 it says and they shall take away certain of you uh, uh, this, this, it's, it was a little bit more on that first verse that we started with what 68 mm -hmm. i'm 67. still saying Oh, I started on 68, but you remember Oh, okay. 67? No, no, no. You got it. 68, the burning wrath. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It says, For behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you, mm -hmm. and they shall take away certain of you, and feed you, being idle, with things offered unto idols. Right. That's uh, the offer the microchip, man. Okay. And th those being idle, th that's certain that's, uh, sluggard Israelites, man. Okay. Faith ain't built up. Okay. Not doing the work. You know, lollygagging. Okay, and then that day they not gonna they not gonna have the uh the foundation to to, to they not gonna be rooted, so they they going they gonna succumb to that chip, man. Okay, it's it's called an hour of temptation, man. Okay, <laughs> a trying, man. Okay, and you gotta be rooted, man. You gotta be you gotta be firm in this thing, man. To speaking myself first and foremost, man. Okay, we gotta be rooted and, and ready. Isaiah thirty three and six when that time comes, man. Because it's a time like never before is coming, man. And the so-called white man, as the scripture is about to say, I'm going to let the scripture speak, man. Okay. He's about to lose his mind, man. Go AWOL. It turn up, man. Yeah. No, ape shit. Yeah. Because AWOL is absent without official leave in military. Oh, okay. Okay. He's going he to go, he he go off the wall, though. Yeah, yeah. He's going to be crazy, man. Yeah. Crazy. Uh, verse 69, it says, And they that consent unto them shall be had... In derision. Hey, in derision, you're gonna be a laughing stock, man. Right, these two thirds sellouts. Right. Especially uh Dr. Eric M. Mason. Oh uh, yeah. That nigga's gonna be we're gonna laugh at his ass. You know? Con. It says, and they that consent unto them shall be had in derision and in reproach. And in reproach. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Being made a detestable thing. Mm-hmm. And trotting under Cause cause say say the so-called white man, he's trying you and you're you 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 know, you you're like, nah, I ain't taking that chip. And then you find you you end up he and he said uh, basically he said well he says okay if you take the chip then I'll let you live. Well, th these people don't even believe that the market of beasts is a chip. They don't. So they if don't. you don't think the market of beasts is a chip, of course you're gonna take the chip. Right. Because you don't think it's the market of beasts. Right. But they can't tell us what the market of beasts is. Right. It ain't it ain't the more off they might off the market, well, market right. chip, but but we I don't we, know we what don't it know. Is. Yeah. I don't know what it is, but, but I it know ain't what it that. is. Right. Y'all wrong. Right. Well, prove it, nigga. Right. You know? Anyway, continuing on, uh, in verse 69, it says, mm -hmm. um, and, and shall be had in derision and in reproach and trodden underfoot. And shall be had in derision and reproach and trodden underfoot. Keep going. For there shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those the fear you how about you now shot and when you go into the word insurrection it says a great insurrection there were insurrection uh it goes into an uprising man okay so an uprising man is going to be opposition against those that fear you how about shimmy always shot man mm -hmm. okay which what is fearing you how about shimmy always shot the lord mm -hmm. keeping his law statutes and commandments man okay mm -hmm. to the best of your uh ability okay so it's about to be a complete uh uprising against us man okay <laughs> P a the so-called white man is about to come against us, man, in a, in, in a physical way, because he's trying to do it 
uh, he's trying to do it by his agents, agent, uh, agent with the say, vocal Malone, you know, oh, agent provocateur. yeah, agent provocateurs, <laughs> vocal Malone, okay, James White, the Edomite, you know, all you scoffers, man, the paid agents, man, okay, going even going into uh, uh, these Israelite camps, man, okay, coming up against us, man, trying to disprove Great Millstone, man, who has a hundred percent truth, man, okay, what you got it, about uh, time, uh, it says. For they shall be in uh, verse 71, it says, and they shall be like madmen, sparing none. They shall be like madmen, sparing none. And when you go into that word mad, it's going into insane. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sparing none. Okay. Uh, I got a precept real quick. Uh. It says, Psalm 62, Psalm 64, verse 2. Hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked. Hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked. Which who is that secret counsel, man, of the wicked? Okay, first we're gonna get who is the wicked. Okay, when you pursue the Malachi one and four, it says Esau eat him, and he calls him the board of wickedness, man. Okay, that's right. All that's right. right, and it says the secret council of the wicked, which yeah. is going into the so-called Illuminati, man. Mm -hmm. These rich international banking families. Okay, the Rothschilds, Rockefellers. Okay, the Gettys. Okay, the uh, these various uh, uh, rich international banking families, man. Okay, that that the earth is giving it into. Uh, pursuant to Job 9 and 24, okay? Right. Uh, their hands, okay? The earth is given to the hand, hand of the wicked, okay? It says, from the insurrection mm -hmm. of the workers of iniquity. From the insurrection of the workers of iniquity, man. Right. Okay. The What's, workers of... Oh, you got it, brother. You got well, it. Well, no, I was going to say what you were going to say. You know, mm -hmm. the workers of iniquity being the, the, the slaves or the... Uh, what they call it? The grunts mm -hmm. of these... Of these... Uh, of these uh, uh, of these devils, man. Mm -hmm. You know, the police officers, you know, uh, the military forces. Okay, all of these, all of these, uh, these uh, people mm -hmm. that the self proclaimed white man uses in order to impose his will upon uh, uh, the nation of Israel. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, I'm gonna go back here to Second Ezra 16. Uh, let me see, verse 72. It says, for they shall waste and take away their goods and mm -hmm. cast them out of their houses. They shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. Mm -hmm. That dude stopped when he, when he heard that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they stopped, you know. And it, hey, man. And this truth stirs yeah, spirits yeah, up, yeah, man. It's right. the truth. He cuts. It, it hurts. You know, you know, a dog on the ears point when mm -hmm. he hears something. That was him, man. Right. You know. Hey, because, hey, it, this, is, this is. He might be a police officer. He might be. <laughs> might be, man. Hey, but. Uh, like, but damn, I didn't know. Right, <laughs> I right, right. Know what we going to do. Right. Hey, it's it's not coming. It, it, this this is not this is you should not be able, man, for for so-called black men, okay, so-called Mexicans, Latinos, okay, so-called Native Americans to stand up and call the so-called white man out for who he is, man, right. and and this and and show his weakness, man, right. okay. But just going back to the main point of uh, well, that's showing you that this is the doing of your how about you? That's right. That's right. You know. Cause we couldn't, like you were saying. I mean, we we couldn't even smile in public, man. Right. Had to walk with our heads down, man. Right. Now, now we're hey, that's prophecy, man. Right. Wisdom of Solomon five and one. But then, Jake, then shall the righteous man stand in great bold, uh, boldness, man. Mm -hmm. But Jake, now he'll think that now he's free now because he can smile in public. Mm -hmm. No, nigga, you you still in slavery? Mm -hmm. Okay. The Most High just gave us this this liberty to go ahead and preach the word because it's time for us to get the hell up out of here, man. That's right. You see? That's right. That's what's going on. All right, uh, verse uh, 70, uh, 73, it says, Then shall they be known who are my chosen. Then shall they be known who are my chosen, okay? The, the, the elect. Mm -hmm. And they shall be tried as gold in the fire. And they shall be tried as gold in the fire, Revelations 2 and 10, man, mm -hmm. okay? Hey, we're going to be on the move, man, okay? Some, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, the ones that don't uh, go into a concentration camp, we're gonna be in the, on the move, okay? Being circumspect, okay? Be as pilgrims upon the earth, man, as it says in Second Ezra, also, fifteen and forty, okay? Or you know, okay. all right. It says that we're gonna be tried as gold in the fire, man, okay? And, and it's gonna it's gonna be reproving us, man, okay? So th that we may be found accept acceptable in the, in the sight of the Most High, right? Um. I'm going to just bring this one out and we can close it out on Come this. Uh, 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 6. Wherein we greatly, ye greatly rejoice, though now for a season, if need be, ye are in heaviness through manifold temptations. Mm -hmm. All right, so we glory in the fact that we had a truth 
even though right now we're in an unfortunate predicament because we're still in captivity, okay? Uh, and we're we're in heaviness, our, you know, we, we gotta bear our burdens here, okay? Through, through multiple uh, uh, situations uh, that they're trying us. Mm -hmm. Verse seven, that the trial of your faith being much more precious than of gold that perisheth. Hold on, pause that real quick. So why, so what logical sense, if you believe in the Bible, what logical sense, I'm getting high, I gotta take my jacket off. What logical sense does it make to quit or to give up or to cast this truth aside if you believe that this is true? I'm gonna read it again. If you believe you have the truth and, and, you, and, you, and you say that, okay, I believe in the Bible, I believe in this truth, I'm gonna read this again. The trial of your faith being much more precious than of gold that perisheth. So if I gave you a, a, a brick of gold, brick of solid pure gold worth what? Two million, three million dollars. This truth is more precious than that, man. Much more in comparison. Okay? Though it be tried in the fire, might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Okay? So though uh though we're catching you know all types of uh, 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 uh trials and tribulations we're going to be found unto the glory of Yahweh Shai if we continue to endure like we read in Sirach 4 and 28 you know and so that, those are encouraging words man you know I spoke about Peter but you got it bro hey so with it we hope this was edifying we want to say call halal yahweh bahashem yahweh shai bahashem rakakwadash double honor to our apostles and elders of great millstone peace salutations and blessings to the hope elect shalom shalom